Hi everyone, in this video, I will be going to tell you how you can use data loader for doing any kind of an operation such as insert, update or export also. So there are multiple operations that uh, data loader gives you. So I will just guide you all through the process. And again, there is an alternative for data loader which is data loader.io which you can use easily without downloading anything at your desktop. So what you have to do for that is you have to go to your Salesforce org and then go to setup and then quick find and then type here data loader. So it will give you an option of data loader.io. You can click on data loader.io. So this it will ask you to launch data loader.io click on this one so once it will say it's confirmed reader click on confirm click here lock in with salesforce so it's asking you the environment production environment click on login here you can just click on login so once you will do that it will ask you all these permissions you can click on allow Okay, once you have done this, it shows that you are logged in, you have logged in to the data loader.io and we have successfully connected your data loader with the Salesforce org. Now, what options do we get here? Uh, you can easily see here, we, can, we have an option of import, export and delete. And I'm just showing you right now. It's the browser version or the web version of data loader. We have the installer as well, where you can install the data loader on your desktop and then you don't need to use the web version for the data loader, but this is the easy way. You don't need to install anything and you can just use the browser version for doing the data loader stuff. So we can just quickly test this, how you can use it. So view all the, all the videos here, right? So import, export, delete, so it just gives you the videos and just tell you all the operations that data loader does now if you want to actually perform an export import and delete you click on new task click on export now it will ask you so connection is with the salesforce org and then object so let's say i want to export all the accounts from my system i'll click on account i'll click on next okay so it's ask me which all fields you want to extract from an account if you want to extract the data also and i can provide the query here so with this query i can i can provide my customized query and it will give me the export of that but let's say i want to export all the accounts with account name and account description let's say and i want to have a phone as well so let's say i want to have phone account phone so if you see this now so this is phone so if you see here uh, this is last modified so you have the relationship queries also so i just i don't want to use that last modified by I just want to have on the account so we have description name phone from account so that is my query right now it gives me an option of uh, sorting as well. So in which order you want to sort this so order by if an option that say you want to sort it by account name. So you say order by name ascending. If you want to say ascending, descending, you can just choose this option. Okay. So if again, if you have to want to have the where clause, it gives you an option of where clause as well. So you can say, let's say account phone not equals to now let's say null once you click on plus so it will give you where phone not equal to null you can verify it's verified i can click on next now so it says record 19 so i can click on save and run so once i will do this it says task run running and account export is in progress If you see account export is successful, now what I have to do is 
So I just can click on this success and just this is the file that I received now. So once I click on this file and click on the Excel, so basically I've just got the details of my account description, all these 19 accounts basically I've got. So I have got account name, account phone. So I have got all the details now for those 19 accounts in my system. So this is how you can test the export functionality of the data loader.io. Now let's say if you want to do an update on the account phone number of any specific account or let's say you want to add a description also I just take two of the account also but again we would need to have account id for that purpose so what i can do again i can go back again to the data loader i can click on the export i can click on new task i can click on export again i can click on account Click on next. Again, I would need the account ID. I would need account ID. I would need the account phone. I would need the account name. I would need the account description as well. Let's say account description also. So I can do as so it will give me this query again what i would need to do is again i have to say account phone so account phone not equals to now if i do this you can just remove this for now because this is how it should be actually in the actual conditions but it doesn't give me that option so i will use this where phone not equal to null click on next okay so it says records 13 you can click on save and run so it says the account export is in progress if you click on just click on this it says 13 success so I click on 13 success see here so you have successfully all the records basically now with the id you can just format this to 30 you can just format limit of this column to 30 that you can see it clearly now you have name id description let's say i just want to have description on the accounts where the description is not there let's say the banks ones i'll just use this let's say i want to use this particular sheet we'll paste it here and if you see here so basically all these account does not have the description i can say as a test description here or i would say or i can just copy this uh, these details to the account descriptions as well let's see okay now i have uh, updated this i can just save this file as a csv So I can just save this file as CSV file and I click on save. Okay, so I'm done with this now. So if you see, I can go back again to the data loader. You can click on the new task. You can click on import functionality this time. So it's asking you which op option in the import insert, insert or update. I will choose update, update on account. Once I click on this, but next I have CSV file. I can choose the CSV file now. So it says uh, which field you want to map with which particular field. I have to map description with description on my Excel sheet on the CSV file. 
the account description is matched with description name with name and account phone with phone and then it is done so account id with account id you can click on next and also if i go to previous i don't need to let's say i just want to don't want to do anything on the name and phone i just want to update the account description with the account id i can just choose these two fields click on next so it says uh, use bulk api use batch api so i don't have to update a lot of records i'll continue to use the batch api for this purpose i can click on save and run click on the run so it says account update it's done now in order to test that i can go to any of the account now just for the testing purposes i can go to account and let's say i have s force account as an example so if you see s force so if you see the details of this so if you see the description Yeah, I think if you see the description, description has been copied to S force, which I have done and it shows us I have just updated this. So description successfully got updated for these accounts. So again, uh, so this is how you can use the data loader browser version for doing or making any updates. So, so again, this is an option. So you can go to here, you can click on setup. So once you click on the setup, you can click on data loader. So just to refresh your knowledge again, click on data here. Click on, so if you click on data loader, so you can just click on loader here. In fact, so you will see two options, loader, data loader.io and data loader. This is the browser version. This is the download version. So if you click on this data loader, so it will give you an option of download. Click on download, click on confirm. So again it will ask you uh, you want to download it for windows or mac os so you can download for the operating system that you want to and then click on download and the same thing you can do with the desktop version as well but again if you want to get more information about the the download version of the data loader do let me know in the comments i will be able to guide you in the next video with the download version of the data loader as well i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please don't forget to share and like this i will meet you in another video thank you thanks everyone